Welcome to the Fermented Homestead. If you're new here, my name is Anna, and on this channel, I'm sharing our journey of learning how to turn our home into a homestead. Today, we are beginning the process of preserving a bunch of eggs. We're gonna be doing a few different part series on different ways to preserve eggs, and that is because, as you can see, we have a lot of eggs. And when I originally got all of these chickens, my plan was to kind of sell some eggs on the side just to kind of make some, make enough basically to cover the feed. But when all this, toilet paper shortage and things started happening, I kind of figured it might be a good idea to at least to save at least a good fair number of them. So the, today is gonna be freezing and we're gonna freeze eggs in several different ways and then we're gonna reconstitute them later on, well, I have chickens. That's, that's the one that makes them, them fertile. Um, so anyways, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna preserve these several, freeze these several different ways and then in a day or two probably this weekend we're going to go ahead and we're going to and then this weekend we're probably going to go ahead and we're going to thaw them out and see how well they actually lasted so we have just your standard uh just aluminum i think i don't know something that rusts we have just our standard cookie uh, muffin tin there's no non-stick coating on it there's nothing to it and then we have these ice cube trays that have the little silicone bottom. These things are amazing. And then we have a silicone muffin tin. Basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna crack eggs into here. What we have, I'm, I kind of weeded through the eggs a little bit and kind of picked the dirtier of them because I'm, I'm planning on doing these several different ways and some of those require clean, unwashed eggs. So these ones we're gonna do clean, washed eggs. All of the eggs have been cleaned. They're washed. They don't take a whole lot to do. Uh, kind of just scrubbing the poo off is about all that I was doing with that. So what we're going to do, these, a lot of people say that their ice trays are too small for a one egg to fit into. Uh, looking at these, they're, they look larger than your average ice cube. So I'm going to guess that they're probably going to fit. So let's give it a try because I'd really like to just put a whole egg in each one. So let's give it a try. Oh, exactly. Haha. <laughs> okay. I need a bowl. So now just because I don't want to risk contaminating the rest of these if there happens to be a bad egg, which has only happened once since I've had my chickens, uh, but I still just want to make sure that I'm careful. I don't want to waste anything. So we're just going to crack it into this measuring cup. And then dump it into here. These particular ice cube trays, one reasonable size egg fits in each of these holes. So these are just gonna go on a tray in our freezer. We're gonna keep them nice and flat for a day or two. Okay, so we're gonna move on to these. I don't know how many I can actually fit in here. I'm hoping I can fit two, that would be great. I really don't think I will. Chance it, we kind of do. Nope. There we go. Just one per. This one is the one that's going to be a little bit difficult to deep pan. If you have any kind of spray, like Pam spray or you know any of those kinds of like oil sprays, you can feel free to use them. I don't have those because I don't use them. So we're just gonna crack it on the counter. And I'm gonna show you the way that I saw how people get these out of the pans. Oh, I think this one might be deep enough to fit too. This one's a little deeper than the silicone one. Yep. So that's five dozen eggs already done. I'm pretty stoked. So with these, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the freezer, we're gonna lay them completely flat, and we're gonna leave them undisturbed and flat for, I wanna say probably you wanna do it for like 24 hours or 12 hours. 
Let's start with 12 hours and see where we're at in 12 hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these into the freezer and we'll be back for the next way to freeze eggs. The next step is gonna be pretty similar. I mean, it's just cracking eggs and just preserving them in different ways. But the next way that we're gonna preserve them is not gonna be like in its whole form. It's going to be uh, scrambled up for use as scrambled eggs. So same thing, just gonna crack it into here. And when you're doing this, the one, one thing that I really came across, pretty much everybody said, is to very lightly whisk it. You don't want to incorporate a lot of air into it because that can cause it to freeze or burn uh, much more easily in the freezer. No, looks like three. Okay. Oh, I forgot the salt. So another thing that I heard a lot of was the importance of using salt when you're freezing it. There's something about reconstituting it with the texture and whatnot. You wanna use sugar or salt. And these are gonna be savory. So I'm just gonna add, and you want, a, a, this, the res recipes that I saw said a quarter of a, or half of a teaspoon per six eggs. And I'm doing three eggs, so I'm just doing a quarter of a teaspoon. Okay, so this one is gonna be basically for um, scrambled eggs, and that's really about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pop this into the freezer on top of some kind of a sheet because this is very pliable. It's definitely not something rigid. All right, so the next part is the same pretty much. It's just putting it in different packaging. This is something that anybody can do. You don't have to have any kind of mold. You don't have to have any ice cube trays or muffin tins or anything. You just need to have some freezer Ziploc bags. And really you don't even need to use freezer Ziploc bags. It kind of just depends on how long you want it to last for. And one caution that I had seen on other people freezing the eggs is when you're thawing these out, make sure you put them in a dish because oftentimes when you're using these in the freezer, they're great while they're frozen, but oftentimes they can get nicked or the corners can get, um, you know, poke hole or anything like that. And then you'll just have a big mess on your hands. So just make sure that you, you frost them in a, a dish when you're ready, or you can also just cut off the baggie and which I'll, we'll just try a couple different ways of doing it next time. Well, actually we'll just try one because I don't want to eat that many eggs. But, um, so when you are working with Ziploc bags, for anybody who has not read, heard of this little trick, you can use any kind of a cup. I tend to like the wide mouth mason jars. And basically all you do is you just take your Ziploc, put it in there and fold the edge around it. And then you have, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to fuddle with it or anything like that. And so we're just gonna do six eggs per bag. I've already pre-marked them with the month and the year and six eggs and I put with salt. So I know that there's salt in there and I don't need to add any more. So we're just gonna get cracking all of these eggs and then we're gonna move on. Same method, cracking into this bowl, dumping it into this one, just so that we don't waste a whole bunch of eggs if we come into a bad egg. This time we're moving up to the half teaspoon. Try not to go too crazy with the stirring because remember we don't want to incorporate any extra air into it. Okay, so then we just take it out of here. Wanna get as much of the air out as possible. I definitely whipped that a little bit too much. I can see the eggs on there. There we go. 
And then when we're freezing this, we're just gonna lay it totally flat like this. And we're pro I'm probably gonna put it on some sort of a baking sheet, like in like a 13 by nine and just kind of stack them up. And when you stack them up like that, it can take a little bit longer for it to freeze, but it's gonna freeze a lot better because it's a lot easier just to stack these up. And if you don't unstack them, they'll kind of stick together and you can, you can kind of break them apart fairly easily. But when you're moving them around in the freezer, I found they just stick together and they're already just like ready-made shape together. And it's just, it works really well for freezer space storage. So all the eggs are whipped up and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to toss these into the freezer so they can freeze overnight. And this is a great way, all of these together, we just preserved nine and a half dozen eggs in an hour tops. Like these roosters, I'm not even joking. Ugh. So anyways, we preserved nine and a half dozen eggs in about an hour and we're ready to just throw these into the freezer and I'm gonna bring you guys back once these have, I'm gonna bring you guys back once these have frozen and thawed out sometime probably this weekend. So they'll be in the freezer for a couple of days and then we'll pull them out, thaw them out and I'll show you what we, were, what we ended up with. So it's been a little longer than I care to admit since I have uh, put the eggs into the freezer, but now we're finally gonna actually get to it. And you, they last fairly well, uncovered is, it doesn't seem to be much of an issue. So what we're gonna do with these is, we're gonna, this one should be pretty easy to take out, maybe. Anyways, so um, basically it looks like the egg overspilled on this one and it froze on the bottom. So it might be a little more challenging to get this one out then i hoped it would be but it still be just fine and then with these ones basically what we're going to do is we're going to put a, a very shallow uh layer of water in the sink and we're just going to put it in there for a couple of seconds and take them out and hopefully they should just pop right out and that certainly will happen with these ones here these ones have the silicone these ones might these ones i anticipate will probably be the most challenging but we'll give it a shot So the next thing I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna put them inside uh, one of these like 13 by nine trays. And I'm just gonna get the, the outside that kind of thawed a little bit. I'm gonna get that refrozen so they don't stick together. So I'm just gonna put them in here just like this. Pop them straight into the freezer for like an hour. And that should do the trick. And I'm putting them upside down because they have the domed top, so it's just gonna be easier to get out of this pan when I'm all done. And these silicone ones are fantastic for freezing stuff because they just peel right out. Like, I don't even have to thaw it. Uh, if not for it sticking here, I never would have had to put it in the sink. I love these things. gonna make sure that we are writing on here what these are. So now we're gonna take these out, hopefully. Yep. So this one I'm gonna set aside. I want to set one aside so that I can go over with you guys and show you what how it is. So these 
these are also gonna go in the freezer. I'm gonna bring you back when this egg has thawed out and we'll do a little cooking experiment with it. The egg has completely thawed out, you can see here, and it's really weird. Like, it's liquid, it's pretty liquidy, like the, the yellow, the white, but the yolk is like, I don't know, how, how can I get you to see this properly? The yolk is like firm. Oh, I put it in a spoon. Duh. See what I mean? It's a little really firm. I don't know. It's super weird. So I'm going to cook this and we're going to see where it takes us. So this didn't get any less weird. It's still like this like hard. I don't even know how to describe that. It's like, it's weird. So I'm going to try and break it here. Okay. So yeah, it's just, it's a solid yolk. Tastes like a yolk. Okay. So you're just not going to have a runny yolk. But. Tastes like an egg. I mean, if you like to have runny yolks, I mean, really, you're not going to get it. <laughs> so, I think probably next time I'm going to try scrambling these in the smaller pack, in the smaller containers as well. Um, I didn't want to break out the big block of the um, eggs just yet. So I'm going to try that when I'm actually ready to eat a whole like four eggs. <laughs> so I'll bring, we're not quite done yet. And we'll bring that back and do a taste test on that one. So what had happened was, is that I filmed that video about a year and probably, I, I think it's been a year and like eight months since I filmed that video on how to freeze eggs. And we had a mishap and we had cooked several of those eggs. I told you I was gonna bring you back for the frozen scrambled eggs. And we had cooked up several of those and they were good. I just never actually filmed it. And then this is where the what had happened was part comes in. One of our freezers went out and I should say we purchased a freezer, a used freezer that just never worked. And my fault, I didn't check it before I put a bunch of our products in there. And unfortunately the frozen eggs were one of them. So those ones I am not able to actually film the end on, but I can assure you they were delicious. They had the texture was perfectly fine on them. They scrambled up just like normal and I had no issues with them whatsoever. Neither did my husband and they were just fantastic. So I wanted to go ahead. I didn't want to not bring you guys this video be just because I wasn't able to actually film the end of it. I wanted to make sure I still brought you along for it. I assure you they were delicious. And um, so I hope that this, this video finds you in good timing. I know with everything that's going on in the world, I know that eggs are probably at some point going to be hard to come by. So it now is a great time to, to really stock up on your eggs. You can throw them in your freezer. I also have a video on how to water glass them. That's saving them at room temperature. I have kept them for well over a year and they were perfectly delicious. You can, I think you can dehydrate them, but some people say not to, I've never done it. So tread lightly on your own risk, but you can also freeze dry them. If you have a freeze dryer, dryer, there are a lot of different ways that you can preserve your eggs. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, even if it does not have the proper ending that I had hoped it would. If you guys do enjoy this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up, help solve googly algorithmic things. If you guys are new around here, I like to do all kinds of videos on food preservation, canning, freezing, dehydrating, fermenting, giving you guys all kinds of ideas as well as ways that you can actually use those foods in your cooking. So if you guys enjoy that sort of thing, and it sounds like fun, Make sure you hit the subscribe button right here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have all kinds of awesome stuff coming up here. Up here is a video Mr. Google Pants thinks that you're going to enjoy. Down here is going to be my water glassing eggs video. And up here is going to be a playlist I think that you guys are going to enjoy. So make sure you check it out. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.